So this is the Santa Barbara Zoo and in front of me I've got a Chinese alligator. There are two species of alligator, the American and the uh, Chinese. The Chinese alligator is much smaller and uh, because this one isn't yet fully grown, it uh, won't uh, grow uh, much much more. Uh, the American alligator is much, much bigger. Now both of them were um, very much threatened. Although the American alligator is now, there's no shortage of them whatsoever. Uh, to the contrary is the situation with the Chinese alligator I think there's only about a couple of hundred still believed to be in, in the wild which, which are left and the uh, alligators uh, can uh, talk to each other and this, this one's I think it's the most talked of, of, of all uh, sorry crocodilians in general can talk there's, there's quite a lot of species of crocodile in the world and um, but this one of all, all of them is the most talkative uh, various types of grunts and uh, noise and apparently it seems like when they when they do talk and uh, they do it and um, as a part of the body is as usual is underwater and uh, this makes it seems though it's actually raining because the, the, the shower comes up from it they can stay in the same position for ages and if you look at the position um, of the way that the mouth is shaped and the eyes you can compare this to hippopotamus the hippopotamus and frogs so it's ideally uh, shaped for lounging around uh, underwater and keeping an eye on what, what things are happening above the surface. Now, caimans uh, are actually even smaller than uh, uh, this species, species, so it's not the smallest species of crocodilian.